Dwelling as close to the chaos wastes as wholesome life can manage, the people of Kislev are constantly under attack. Orcs, trolls, and goblins will wander out of troll country, bringing their cruel cleavers to bear against isolated settlements. Lone vampires stalk the frozen landscape, draining entire villages of their blood before moving on to the next one. Escaped molder beasts, driven mad with pain and drugs, prowl the tundra before inevitably succumbing to their cruel surgical modifications. And northern raiders, known as Kazak, descend from Norska to pillage and enslave those who can't defend themselves. It should come as no surprise, then, that the Kislevite god of war, Tor, is one of the most venerated deity in all of the motherland. Depicted as an immense, bald, muscle-bound warrior wielding a massive axe, Tor is the god of thunder, lightning, war, and bravery. His holy symbols are thunderbolts, and axes with a thunderbolt for a haft. The haft of his real axe is oak, which is a reference to the relationship that real-world storm gods, such as Perun and Thor, had with the tree. Tor will use this weapon to cleave the sky open, unleashing the lightning bolts for which he is famous for. In times of peace, he will amuse himself by consorting with attractive fire spirits, or smashing his axe into the ground. He's certainly not the most complicated god in the Kislevoid pantheon. These times of peace are rare, however, and he's the most active god in Kislev. Wherever the enemies of Kislev tread, Tor and his followers will be there to meet them. Tor is a god of action rather than words, and prefers that his followers act in a similar fashion. Those who show courage and strength will receive his blessing, while those who show cowardice will quickly draw his ire. His favor is in high demand, and every axeman in Kislev will offer a quick prayer to Tor before a fight. While the storm god has no official priests, as a citizen of the Empire may recognize them, his more devout worshippers will take on certain pious duties. These include adding Tor's imagery to shields and barracks walls, leading other warriors in prayer before battle, and tending to his shrines when they're in the area. These temples are dense structures, composed of rough-hewn rock and heavy wooden logs. Little lies within but a lightning bolt carving, food, and a warm place to sleep. They're most commonly found on hills in order to be closer to Tor's lightning storms, and are most abundant in Peak Pass and High Pass. The fact that both these passes are frequent avenues for invasion isn't a coincidence, as the temples standing there can act as staging grounds for Kislevites hoping to defend their homeland from chaos incursions. Tor is not a god to stand on ceremony. He has no official holy days, though his worshippers will gather outside and pray to him during large thunderstorms. He has only one stricture, and that's the sensible but mundane request that no one stand beneath a tree in a thunderstorm. The one exception to this Spartan way of life is Tor's fondness for silver. His blade is made of the substance, sharpened within a forge powered by Daz's solar heat. It is commonly believed throughout Kislev that the metal is made when one of Tor's lightning bolts strikes the ground. His fondness for silver is spread to his worshippers as well. Competent warriors will weave strands of silver into their mustaches, axe hafts, and beards as a demonstration of both their piety and skill in battle. Chaos warriors would do well to beware a silver-threaded Kislevite warrior, as only the mightiest under the Tsarina's command would dare boast so openly about their combat prowess. As everyone in Kislev regularly offers prayers to Tor, it's hard to point to any one individual as a particularly notable member of his faith. If one had to, however, the honor would fall upon Mikhail Jolnirson, the captain of Prague City Guard. Jolnirson was struck by lightning twice as a youth, and the experience convinced him that the Thunder God had blessed him with glorious purpose. Unfortunately, the strikes also left the man quite addled, and he has no clue what that purpose might be. Mikhail is convinced that a third event will clear his mind and reveal what Tor wants him to do. In pursuit of this mission, the captain is taken to wearing tall, conical iron hats to court further lightning strikes. They have so far proven elusive, much to Mikhail's dismay and the joy of everyone who stands next to him. In Total War Warhammer, Tor is mentioned a few times in the Kislev campaign. Patriarchs have access to the Tor's battle hymn prayer, which gives 40 melee attack and a radius around them for a decent amount of time. This can let Kislev's already decent infantry and cavalry punch way above their weight class for a bit, especially against lightly armored targets. Using his motherland invocation lets you gain supporters from battle, as well as increasing melee attack by 5% faction-wide and giving you the Wrath of the Bear army ability for 10 turns. While this ability might make more sense for Urson, seeing as he's, you know, a bear, it's not a bad one by any means. When activated, your entire army gets a 50% boost to all melee weapon damage for nearly 20 seconds. 
combine this with Tor's Battle Hymn, and your Zargard will kind of have better offensive stats than Chosen for a short time frame. Not bad for a bunch of otherwise normal dudes. With that, we have covered Tor, Kislev's least interesting god. At least personally. He's just Thor without the H and the fun family dynamics of Odin and Loki and Sif and all those guys. Kind of a lame god for an otherwise very cool faction. Though the stuff about Silver is a neat bit of world building that I wasn't expecting coming into the project. Always happy to learn something new while doing this. And for those of you wondering about the Oath Brothers of Tor, Kislev's Warbear Rider ROR, don't worry. I'm saving my overview of those guys for when I finally find something in the lore about them. That'll cover us for today though, so until next time, this has been Sigmar's Chosen, signing off for now.